This will be his 12th start coming off a win against the Diamondbacks on Sunday afternoon in Arizona. His fifth straight quality start in that span of 191 ERA. And one of the things I really uh, liked about that start he had against uh, Arizona last time out, I don't know if he had his best stuff for command, but he was able to work through things. And we've seen the maturation process of Ryan Weathers. Digging in for the Texas Rangers is the second baseman, Marcus Simeon. The first pitch of the ball game's hit high and deep to left center field. Jazz is going back at the wall. He looks up. Did he make the catch? Yes! What a sensational leaping grab by Jazz Chisholm Jr. to start this ball game. Oh, my goodness. I mean, first pitch of the game. I mean, people aren't even in their seats yet. Corey hitting 260 with 13 home runs, 11 of them coming in May. 2-1. Hard on the ground into the right center field, a base hit. Streaks alive for Corey Seager. He's now reached base in 24 straights, and he's picked up hits in 14 straight. Two balls, two strikes. In there for a called strike three. Good spot for the change up there. That's the first strike out of the ball game. 0 oh, 2. Got him to chase. This side is retired here in the top of the first inning. Eight starts for Lorenzen this year. 48 and a third innings pitched 3 3 5 ERA and 200 batting average against. Chisholm rips one into right field. A leadoff single here in the bottom of the first inning. And his presence and his impact is already being felt. Lorenzen's in a bit of a spot here in the first inning. Two men on and nobody out. No score. And Josh Bell is coming out. Looking for hopefully a ground ball right to Simeon. 2-1. There you go. You called it. Simeon. Seeger on a first double play. Now Sanchez, who had two doubles and a homer yesterday. And the pitch is cut on and missed. He struck him out with a fastball, and Lorenzen gets out of a big jam. Ryan Weathers goes to work. Top two. Couple of strikeouts in that first for Weathers. Is in there for a called strike three. It's a couple of strikeouts looking already in three in a row. Langford struggling, hitting 132 over his last 11 games. There's a swing and a miss, strike three, and four consecutive strikeouts for Ryan Weathers. He's dirty, man. <laughs> Weathers is dirty. Leody Tavares is the batter. Smith with a lead from first. The 2-2 pitch is swung on and missed strike three. Got him with a changeup. Ryan Weathers has punched out five through two scoreless innings this afternoon. Berger on board for Nick Gordon. He drives this one, though, to right. Garcia's back, and he's able to make the play. Crossing onto the track, Garcia takes away extra bases from Gordon. Berger had a scurry back to first. So one on, one out. Nothing, nothing up on the board. Here's... Tim Anderson. See a great pitch by Mike Lorenzen at the top of the zone. And brings up the catcher, Nick Fortin. 3-2 pitch, lifted high into the air right field. To his left is Adoli, still on the move. Inside the line, he puts it away. And Fortes, the final out here in the bottom half of the second. So that brings up Marcus Simeon. He made a bid for extra bases in the first inning. There's a swing and a miss by Marcus Simeon, who's punched out for the first time today in the first out here in the third. Corey Seager comes to the plate. Seager singled sharply his first time up. Another ground ball, and that one squirts through. Seager with a couple of hits through his first two at-bats, and the Rangers are cooking here in the third with a couple of men on. And that brings Robbie Grossman to the plate. That one's lined down the left field side, in there for extra bases. Kisner comes home. Gordon picks it up in the corner. Seager stops at third, but Robbie Grossman rewarding his manager for writing his name in the lineup in RBI double, and the Rangers are on the board first here in the top of the third. Well, the Rangers need a good at-bat from Adolis here. He's been giving away a lot of his at-bats lately. They need him to be patient here with first base open. Garcia in the air to right. Sanchez back. He's got it. But that's way more than deep enough for the Rangers to get a run. Seager comes home and scores. Garcia does his job with a sack fly. Runners at first and second now with two men out for Jake Berger. Rangers up by two. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. And he struck him out. Got him with the changeup. That's the final out here in the bottom half of the third inning. The leadoff single. Here is Josh Smith. Smith had a butt hit his first time up. And the pitch is swung on and drilled into right, a line drive, base hit to the left of Lopez. Turning second, digging for third is Langford. The throw is late. It gets away. Down to second base goes Smith. Langford will be awarded home as that ball goes out of play. And the Rangers lead it three to nothing as Josh Smith delivers a single to right. And Sanchez throw to third, gets away. Here's Tavares with the runner at second. Nobody out. They bring the corners up against the butt. There's a ground ball up the middle. Nice sliding play by Anderson. Throw from his knee to get the out. Not only did he take a hit away from Tavares, but he also gets an out on the play. Here's Kisner with the infield in. He singled his first time, and he hits a high drive to right field. Should be deep enough to score the run. 
Sanchez toward the line, hauls it in, tagging at third and heading home is Josh Smith. The throw is way late and up the third baseline. And the Rangers lead by the score of four to nothing. Corey Seager is coming up. Through two innings, it looked like Ryan Weathers was going to cruise to a really strong outing. But the last two innings, the Rangers have started to get to him. He swings first pitch, and that one is ripped to right field. Simeon heading to third, and Seager's going for second. The throw is cut off. It's a three-hit game for Corey Seager. And yeah, they were able to keep uh, Seager quiet last night but not able to keep him quiet tonight here comes the 2 1 and that's a ground ball hit softly to third burgers up with it on one big hop good clean throw to first and the inning is over Gordon fly to deep right his first time up and there's the swing and a miss he got him on a fastball at 95 on the inside part of the plate so uh, Lorenzen uh, has punched out four one in each inning well the me guy on the mound with a little me 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 there he gets a couple of strikeouts a one two three inning for Michael Lorenzen two and two to Adolis Garcia and he goes to the sweeper trying it back door got the swing and miss this I think is a performance from uh, Ryan that has grit uh, good inning. Dirty changeup right there. A one, two, three frame. His first of the game. Michael Lorenzen back to work in the fifth. Wave and a miss on the changeup, and down goes Fortes for the first out. And Lorenzen, not usually a big strikeout guy, he's racking him up today. Lorenzen unwinds, lets it fly, and swung on and popped up. Behind the plate, Kisner may have a play. He has room and he's got it. And it is another one, two, three, no hassle inning. Josh Smith who homered last night and has singled twice today. Now here's the 2 2 pitch that Josh Smith and he swings and misses at a changeup. That is the ninth strikeout for Ryan Weathers this afternoon. Just one shy of tying his career high. There's nobody on and one out here in the top of the sixth inning. There you go. Another strikeout looking on a fastball. Guess now, it, man. Tough. It's a tough fastball. It's 96 in. Weathers is going for a new career high. He's got 10 strikeouts this afternoon. He kicks and fires the 1 2 pitch and it's swung on. It missed strike three. All right. It's a new career high. 11 strikeouts for Ryan Weathers on this Saturday in Miami. Marcus is one for three. He singled his last time up. Simeon drills one deep into left. Gordon going back. It's over his head. It's low off the wall. Has a funny kick high into the air. Simeon is easily into second here with a leadoff double. Rangers up 4 nothing with a runner at third and one out for Robbie Grossman. On the ground, up the middle, into center field, a base hit. Two hits and two RBIs for Grossman. Simeon comes home to score, and the Rangers lead 5 to nothing. Here's Michael Lorenzen getting set to start his seventh inning of work, facing Nick Gordon. That one back to the mound. Lorenzen makes the play. Boach doesn't want to gamble on anything more from Michael Lorenzen. Jose Leclerc coming into a game. Great start by Lorenzen. 2 2 pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Got him with the Slombio. One, two, three, no hassle inning. The bases are still loaded. There are two outs, and Wyatt Langford will be the batter. Langford, line drive, base hit into left field. Grossman scores. Garcia coming home. Gordon's throws cut off. Wyatt Langford in his home state with a two-run single. And Texas's lead is now 7 to nothing. And with the bases loaded and two outs, Rangers leading 7 nothing. It's up to Otto Lopez. And that one in the air off the bat of Lopez Tavares back and that's going to do it the Rangers maintain the shutout and the Rangers get the win